Hey guys, just want to give you um, a little heads up on some of the ways that you're graded in this music class. Hopefully you recognize this rubric. There is a big, huge poster at the front of the room. This is the rehearsal and ensemble skills rubric. Um, Every day that you come to class in the state of Utah, they ask us to teach certain standards. Our, we have four main standards. They're create, perform, respond, and connect. And this activity and rubric covers two of the standards that we use all of the time. Rehearsal is what we do every day in class. And so whenever you come to class and we're working on music, that's a rehearsal. Ensemble is the snooty French word that means all together. And more often than not in music classes, even if we are working individually, we're also working together as a group. Um, you can call a choir or a band or an orchestra group an ensemble. Um, and so these rehearsal and ensemble skills are important for every musician to know. Now, as you can see, there are two standards in Utah Perform 6 talks about demonstrating productive rehearsal habits as an individual and as a member of an ensemble. And Connect 2 asks that students self-assess and document their personal growth as a musician. The state of Utah also takes time to define what productive rehearsal habits are. These are the things you're going to be grading every week, so please make sure you understand what the um, expectation is. These are being focused, being completely prepared, that means having your own pencil, any music that you're going to need to use, any instrument that you need to have, and any assignment that you would need, fully participating, not perfectly participating, but fully participating, conscientious attendance, that means that you attend more often than you don't, and that when you do attend, you attend on time, and respect. Respect doesn't just mean being nice to people or being respectful of the teacher when they're teaching. Respect also in a music classroom means how you treat the equipment. And so these are all things you can be graded on. Are you focused when we're working? Did you come completely prepared? Um, we also need to include in that our Chromebook since we use that uh, quite a bit. Um, are you fully participating, doing your very best to do the things that we're working on? Are you coming on time? And are you making sure that you're coming more often than not? And are you being respectful? As you can see, there are four ways that we can grade this. In lots of your classes, mastery is a three and there's above mastery at four. In music and skill developed classes, um, mastery, having above mastery doesn't make sense for many things. And so mastery is the top of the scale. Please understand it's not impossible to have mastery. Also, it's really important. And in the class, I've even um, I've even underlined the um, parts of developing, which is the second level there. Um, if you're tardy, developing as is as as high a score you can give yourself. And um, if you're tardy and have gum, gum is something we don't usually have in in a music class that, that shoves you down to a beginning level. Now you can stop the video and read through all of these descriptions so that you catch what they are. Please understand that at the end of every week, I'm gonna ask you to do what Connect2 asks. Self-assess and evaluate your own rehearsal and ensemble skills for the week. Please know that we do this through an assignment on Canvas, and I will have another video that shows you that. Be aware that I grade your rehearsal and ensemble skills for the same time period, so at the end of every week, I will grade you using this same scale. So if you are concerned that maybe you're not sure if you're grading things correctly, um, you can always check in Skyward and see what's there. Um, I always justify 
my score to you in the notes section. I tell you what things you were either not prepared with or how you were not following class procedure or if you had gum or if you weren't working. These are things that you can find in the notes section. So if you're not sure what to tell your parents about that grade, send them there and they can look um, and, and can see for themselves. All right, good luck.